Today I am going to be breaking down a 23 kill Unreal ranked solo win for you guys to teach all of you how to W key and most importantly how to close out and win more games. So if you guys do enjoy make sure you guys are subscribed, join my community and let's get into the video. When it comes to the start of this game obviously I'm landing at the raft but there is a very very important moment right here that allows me to kill everyone at the raft literally in two seconds. I noticed that these guys are way behind on their drop. I noticed that they're way way behind they're all the way back here. And that means I have choice of where I want to go on this place. So instead of going to my normal spot, which is over here, I'm going to swing to the left. I'm going to go over to this tower, which is going to give me a uh, purple pistol. And then I am able to kill both of these guys out of the air. Loki, some of the best aim I've ever had. I can't lie. I'm kind of crazy. You know, a little headshot here. Get two free kills. And now there's only one guy that's going to land here a little bit later. And then I can just pick up another free kill in a second. So this next kill here is a great example of how to play good protective peaks. I showed them yesterday, but I'm going to show them a little bit better today. So this guy right here swing on my window or my floor, sorry. And I'm going to take a good right hand peek here, edit, and then swing to my left. Wait for him to pickaxe, right? Have my edits out. I edit as soon as he's about to pickaxe or he tries to build or anything like that. I have the angle now. I swing left, get a pump shot. I've cracked him, but I'm not going to run out here. Because if I run out here, this guy could easily just swing me and then just one hit me and I could be dead or just take a lot of damage. So I'm not going to, I'm going to be patient, try and spray, see what I can do. Then I wait and now I go up, right? That little moment allows me not to take damage. And now this guy's on defense and he has to play defense. But there is a problem. There's going to be a guy gliding in right over here. This guy pulling up. Now I know that I don't want to get in this third party scenario. So instead I have fighting this, I actually go back down into my old box and I'm going to go down in here. And I'm just going to let these guys fight it out. And then I'm going to clean them up. That's the most important thing about my early game fights. I don't do all the work. And I kind of let everyone else do the work for me. Because early game, there's a lot of luck involved. And people will always have better loot than you. So I try to avoid that as much as possible. And then I can just pick up a free Elam on this guy. When he is uh, weak, obviously. And then I can just get this whole raft POI to myself. Another thing, once you clear out this POI, instantly try and kill the boss. Because... There's going to be people that show up later in literally the next few seconds after I kill the boss. And to make sure that I secure this boss before anyone shows up it is very crucial to the rest of my game. And also make sure that you guys are boxing this boss because if you don't, someone's going to sneak up on you and shoot you when you don't expect it. So make sure that you have armored walls or metal at least to cover yourself when you're getting the medallion. Now we're going to actually get into a mistake I see a lot of people do now with the new uh, items in the game, the new mythics. You never really want to pop this new jet, they're the boosters right when you're next to somebody else's box because you can easily just get beamed out of the air and also if you have a jetpack you can kind of follow them in the air and then just get an easy beam and when you do get beamed if you take i believe it's 50 damage while you're in the air with the boosters you will go into like this spinning move where you can't control anything and you fall to the ground so in this example i chase this guy with my jetpack hit him twice that means that he is eventually going to fall and it puts you in this little spiral motion. And when you hit the ground, if you don't swap your boosters, you go into like this place where you can't move. And you can just basically spray the person from there and just pick up free kills from this. So I actually always recommend using a jetpack instead of the boosters because the boosters may get you farther, but you have way less control with them and it could end up getting you killed. All right, so this next kill is very, very similar to a lot of the kills that I get in this game. And it's basically just playing off of people's mistakes. I just wait for them to make a mistake. As you can see with the jetpack again, I do this very, very simple movement that allows me to beam someone while usually not taking a lot of damage. I go back and forth and look how I boost back and then I go back the other way and I boost the other way so that it's really hard for me to get hit. Then I try and grab the wall, but I throw a ramp in his face, try and pre-piece him. He realizes that I'm waiting for him. I try and fake swap so that he edits on me. He's not buying it. So I know I'm going to have to do something else. Then I read his body language, see that he's going out left. So I try and counter it. By placing this in his face, waiting for him to make a mistake, he eventually does edit out, and I'm able to get a free kill from that. Alright, so now I'm actually going to show you guys a very, very simple high wall technique that you can do to catch someone out when they try and double edit. So, in this fight here, obviously this guy builds in wood. That's a no-no. Try and throw a ramp in his box. Realize he's about to double edit up. I can see him through the builds. I know his body language. So, I edit the cone that's right above me, and then I place a wall in front of me, and I'm going to edit it as well. Then just get a big kit, crack him. He's now weak. Now I'm going to change the angle again, run up, change the angle, swing to my right. Now this guy does place the armored wall, but while he does place the armored walls, I just keep changing my angles to try and find an entrance. At this point, I throw a ramp in his face again, and I also get a ramp right next to me. So, very simply, I just jump in, phase in, edit the ramp, and then pick up a free elim. 
Also, if you guys want to see some more exclusive content on how to improve yourself as a player, go check out the link in the description where you guys can join my community. It's still in the early works and it is free. Also, if you guys do join the community, you have a chance to be shouted out. Here's today's. So if this does interest you, go in the link in the description and let's get back to the video. Another thing you guys need to learn how to do is deal with pressure. So in this example here, I'm trying to fight this guy, getting peace control on all of them. But the problem is this guy shows up. He gets a crazy beam on me. At this point, I'm pretty weak. I'm actually a little weaker than it shows on your screen, and I instantly make a ton of space. Then when this guy tries to smack on my roof and walls, I instantly place armored walls so that I can't get shot, and then I have time to heal and just making sure that I'm calm. And then I know that I have the best range weapon in the game, so I'm going to make sure that I wait for him to move off of this build, and when he does, then I know that I can take this range battle because I know I trust my aim, and I know I'll never lose. Get under the cone, Tifu peek him, get a big dink, crack him, bleed through a little bit, and now I'm going to chase him with my jetpack and line my crosshair up, get a few beams. Now, it's very important what I do after this kill. Pick up this kill, and then I'm going to dash over, get the loot. Now, as you can see, there's somebody tailing me, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a big base around me and build a bunch of space, and then pick up all the old mats that I have, even build off this just in case anyone shows up. Then, now I heal, right? Don't get too greedy for the loot. Build everything off and then go for the loot. Armor this off just in case anyone shows up. Now I go to this side, but I realize that, okay, this is my only exit out, and this is kind of a problem. I realize I can't armor myself up. I try and get out here. Realize not going to work, and now I know that this guy's blocking me off. So I make a little last-ditch move, get a crazy beam, and pick up a kill. Just a free kill from me. Again, the scanner goes off, so I obviously see there's a guy in that bush right there. Get a crazy beam on this guy. Hit him about 150, I believe. Once I get this beam, I close the distance, realize this guy isn't expanding, grab his wall in front of him, try and window edit, realize he's on a weak ramp because obviously he just edited it in my direction, so I can just shoot it, replace that as a cone, accidentally shoot my wall, but it's fine though, get him weak, smack on the wall, keep trying to steal it, and eventually I'm going to bleed through here. I see that he's going up, and I know that if he boxes up, I can just phase through, because with jetpacks, if you just hover on a wall, you'll always go through, and you can always pick up a free kill by doing that. You'll never ever not phase in when you hold a jetpack on a wall. So now obviously my scanner just went off and I can see everyone. So I know where everyone is here. And I'm trying to see if I can bait someone into editing a wall or anything. Try and edit on this guy. Make a little side box here so that I have a good right hand peak setup. See how I'm taking the wall at a safe angle. Then trying to swing in, right? It's always important to stay at good angles so that when you're fighting, you don't take a lot of damage. That's the most key thing about... The key thing about fights like this is not taking damage while doing damage. I've said it so many times, but I literally think it's the most important thing to fighting properly. So as you can see, realize zone is pulling. I know it's not worth it to keep fighting these guys, so I keep pressure on them a little bit. Then I go last second. I'm going to dash in, and I'm instantly going to build in front of me. And then I'm going to look back, realize this guy's weak, get a free kill there. Look for this guy. Realize there's a person on height shooting me. Chill, box up. Do a very, very simple rotation. Tap your fizz. And then dash with your jetpack and cancel it. It's going to send you pretty far. Also, big note, I block off my back right there, right? I build that off so that he can't look at me and spray me in the back That while I'm moving. That allows me to get that distance away from him. Dash up, and now I'm going to put myself on second height and wait for this guy to make a mistake. And then when he makes the mistake of showing me too much of him, I can get a free beam here, crack him. Now I'm keying, obviously, waiting for him, trying to jetpack in. Spraying in, I always phase in with a jetpack because it allows you to phase in every single time. Also, notice how after I get that kill, I expand instantly so that if someone shows up, like these people here, I'm ready for them. Realize this guy's getting pinched, take advantage of that, crack him, drop on his back wall, pick up a final, almost final kill, and then we're on to this last guy. He is not a good player, but I um, obviously had 22 kills and I didn't want to lose this game, so I'm just going to kind of spray this guy down and slowly secure this kill. Oh, never mind, there's another person here. Well, this zone is a very, very simple rotate. You're going to tap your fizz and then wait for last second. Once it's time, I'm going to sky ramp a little bit so that I'm above everyone. See how like much distance I covered with those ramps back there? And now I do my dash. That means that I don't have to go do two dashes instead of one. And then it just allows me to get there a lot faster. And then I just connect off of this guy's builds. And then I place myself in a good spot. The guy that I was fighting just died to zone. So another kill for me. This guy below me, I realize he's tapping his fizz and he doesn't have a lot of cover. Get another 55. Looking for any very simple angle just to spray this guy and finish him off. Ayo again. Trying to spray him. Crack him. I know he's already weak. I'm just trying to secure this game. 
trying to drop on his box, hover, trying to jet back in. He gets out, fine with me, and he runs into zone, and he gives up, and that is the game for you guys. That's that's gonna do it for this video. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you guys are subscribed and go join my community. It's free. And if you guys want to see more content like this, go check out these videos right here. And I'm out. Peace.